In Central Texas, this is Fox 44 weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Clear skies on this Friday night looking pretty quiet across the area. We're going to see temperatures kind of cool off just a little bit, but still not bad for February. That is for sure. Right now we'll take you down into the clean area. It's pretty quiet right now. Our live Centex seamless gutter sky tracker. It is on the rooftop of one clean center. Current temperature 60 degrees. Again, our average high is about 65, so we're still pretty warm this evening. Our wind is out of the north at six miles per hour. Other temperatures, we've dropped into the 50s over toward the Hillsborough area, 53 degrees. Clear skies in Gatesville, 57, 57 in Brownwood, and temperatures still holding in the mid to upper 50s, pushing 60 degrees in Caldwell. We've got mainly clear skies in College Station and 60 degrees. The wind has been uh, pretty light. It was a little stronger uh, this afternoon, about 10 to 15 miles per hour. But now we're talking the wind uh, for the most part. Exception is up toward Mahia 13, but that northerly wind under 10 miles per hour. Wind should not be a problem to start the weekend, but by the end of the weekend, you're going to notice some very strong winds here across the region, but that's going to help those temps, and we'll show you those here in just a minute or two. But you can see very light winds off to our west. Brownwood, five mile per hour wind and three in Comanche. So the clouds continue to stream, and these are some high clouds, some cirrus clouds. Those are ice crystals way up in the atmosphere that don't produce any rain. So no rain in the forecast, that is for sure. And a lot of these clouds will start to dissipate here over the next several hours, leaving us with mainly clear skies. But that is it. Not much showing up with the radar either. Again, any rainfall way above me. You can see up there toward parts of Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. That is mainly about it. So here's what you can expect overnight tonight. Clear skies, quiet weather, and there's that high pressure area moving down from the north. That will control our situation here overnight and early tomorrow. So tomorrow, you'll be waking up to clear skies. Temperatures in the mid to upper 40s. Winds will be rather light as we go throughout the day. Still talking about winds not looking bad. This is at noon tomorrow. Temperatures climbing uh, into the 70s in most areas. We'll get on the back side of the high and you can definitely see southerly winds kicking in. And by the afternoon, mid to upper 70s tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies, pretty quiet weather across the region. And then late Saturday into Sunday, notice how that high kind of leaves us here. That was protecting us from those strong winds. Well, those stronger winds will start to kick in here as we start the day on Sunday. And so expect a windy day. But look at the temperatures, though. The temperatures will climb into the upper 70s and lower 80s on Sunday. Mostly sunny skies. Once again, it's going to be a beautiful weekend here. It's not going to feel like February. That is for sure. This is at 5 o'clock in the evening on Sunday. Farther off to the west you go, temperatures will definitely be in the low to mid 80s, if not some upper 80s from time to time. But tonight's forecast, mostly clear skies. We'll still see those northerly winds at 5 to 10 and temperatures falling to around 45 degrees. And then tomorrow, a lot of sunshine. Should I wash the car? Yes, should I wash the motorcycle? Get the motorcycle out. Get it. Hope you've been riding it this week. Temperatures have been well above average. It's going to be great weather. So your forecast, sunshine, not only Saturday and Sunday, temperatures upper 70s on Saturday, lower 80s on Sunday. The check mark means yes, get out there and wash the car. That's for sure. And Monday, 88 degrees, the high temperature. The record is 90. So we'll come awfully close to time the record on Monday. And here's the rest of the long range 10 day forecast brought to you by Daniel Stark. 85 on Tuesday, front moves in on Wednesday. So that drops us into 67 to 68 degree range, which is still a little bit above average, slight chances of rain, nothing major. And you'll even notice next weekend temperatures in the 70s, lows mainly in the 40s and 50s, and then down toward Bryan and College Station. Not much change here. A lot of sunshine, upper 70s for highs. We'll see those 80s on Monday and Tuesday. Slightly cooler there with some rain chances in the middle of the week, but they're not real high. And temperatures next weekend in the 70s.